Good morning from Casa del Cook. Casa del Cook? I don't know. Is that, does that make sense? Does that make sense to you, little one? Casa del Cook? What do you think? So, I did not take the mats out of my truck. They are still in my truck, and here's why. Because these guys came this morning to build an awning. Good morning. How are you guys? Oh, I can't believe how, how crazy this is coming along already. It's insane how fast. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to extend this. This is Braxton. Braxton is the name of your company, Braxton Awnings, or is it? Shade Creations. Shade Creations. So, Shade Creations. In my phone, you're Braxton Awnings. So that works. that's all. That's what it is. This is. It's. It's gonna be well worth it because we're gonna have so much shade. How hot was it yesterday? Do you guys know? I need this damn pool guy to come finish this pool because I'm gonna have this amazing backyard, this awning, but I need some water in that damn pool. So, is this thing gonna be uh, sturdy enough to jump off the top into the pool? You can find a way up there. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass ladder. But uh, yeah, so we're doing this. We're gonna have the fireplace over here. We're gonna have outdoor kitchen area over here. And it's gonna give me some relief from the St. George sun in the middle of the summertime when it's 105 degrees out. So I'll be putting the mats into the casita as soon as this backyard has some space in it for my truck to come through. But here's what the backyard, here's what it's looking like right now. That's the extent of my stretching and yoga area. And maybe we don't need that nice flooring in there. I'm gonna put the TV on the wall. I just don't wanna mess this up. So if any of you guys know flooring, if I put a treadmill and stuff on here, I think I should have that rubber mat down. What do you guys think? Good idea to have the rubber mat down? I think so. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you guys this either. So this, this came this week. Things are slowly very slowly starting to come together. I'm waiting on the guys from Best Buy um, to come put up the TV, maybe get some Sonos speakers. I don't know. I have a sound bar and a subwoofer, but they're trying to talk me into Sonos for this room, so I should probably do it because we have it at the gym. But this couch, my buddy Sean Lowe, Sean and Catherine, um, it's, I guess it's just sh sh Home by Sean and Catherine, Catherine Lowe. This is the Chelsea daybed couch thing that they have and it is phenomenal look at this look at this oh that's what's up look i can lay on it pretty much in any direction and still have my feet on it poppy oh hi hi you can't get up here can you come on it is also the first day of the summer sizzle challenge our six week challenge going on and this came just in time. Food scale, anytime, anytime you are looking to do a little mini shred or something. If you've never, you know, mac honey macros is a tricky thing because I don't do it year round, but you don't, the more you, uh, I guess, know how to, the less, you know, you need to have a food scale. Because I guess what I'm saying is, if you've never tried a macros, do it for two weeks, and then all of a sudden you'll be able to kind of eyeball the things, especially if you eat the same type of thing every day. But I've been needing one of these. We lost that one. Oh um, my gosh, but look, this one, this one has better batteries. Yeah, in our move, we lost our other one, so. Um, I have like a nasty sinus infection, so I'm about to hit this neti pot, to start the day off right. You guys wanna see how a, a neti pot works? Let's show them that. Are you serious? And then, and then I'm gonna make breakfast. The neti pot is actually pretty cool. Whoa, you just ate all of your breakfast, little miss. That was like literally... Two seconds. So a good food scale is gonna be imperative to your success. I like this one. It lights up. They're not paying me or anything. I just have always used um, a food scale like this. What I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning, two whole eggs, and then I'm having about, about three-fourths cup of egg whites. So this is just pretty much just all protein. And then the whole eggs, protein plus fat. So now that those eggs are cooking, next thing I'm gonna eat, keep it simple. Coach's Oats, these are from Costco. This brand right here is my absolute favorite because they're nice and chewy. Like, so one thing I hate is when my oats overflow in the microwave, it sets me up for a horrible, rotten, no good day. It's by cooking them on a lower power level. So, I have 60 grams here. 
which is gonna be about mm, 43 grams carbs. Uh, my macros for the day, 230 grams of protein. I'm doing 350 grams of carbs today. And again, this is the start of my summer, my summer sizzle. So a little bit higher carbs probably than a lot of people are doing. Uh, and then I'm doing 80 grams fat. So this is kind of just to, to see where I'm at and then um, depending on how much I lose this week, I'll adjust to that. Also, my one secret for great oats is salt. So here's a little pink Himalayan sea salt. Salt it a little bit, that gives great flavor to the oats, but you have to do it before you microwave it. If you do it after, it just doesn't have the same effect, so. Huh? You taught me that. I did teach you that. Yep, he did. I did she's my assistant this morning helping me out. Oh, please. Because Courtney doesn't eat probably. What's that, what time? You do like more iterating fasting, I think. I eat at like 11-ish. And it's seven something right now. So this goes on for power level. Like I said, I go 70% for four minutes. So my goal, this shred is to do it nice and slow. I'm about 212 pounds. I'm gonna get down to maybe 207 in the next six weeks. So I don't have a ton of body fat to lose, but what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I'm holding on to muscle. We'll see how this goes. I also want to just gain size too, so it's really difficult because you gotta do one or the other. So, probably gonna do this for the next six weeks, get lean, and then start adding size, do it all the way through the winter. Life hack look at this whole grain bread. It's low carb, high fiber. For one slice, it's only six grams of carbs. Now, everyone I'm sure is gonna be like, Steve, where did you get that? Bread that's only six carbs? You can only get it in the Chicago area. But that right there is only six grams of carbs. It's, I don't know what kind of witchcraft that is, but it definitely is. The last two things that I'll be having for breakfast this morning, 50 grams of strawberries for my oats, and then I do a half a packet of holy guacamole. Oh, like a red wall. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So we've been talking about decorating for the last 15 I know, minutes. I just always like and I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just throw my hands up and say, hey, whatever you want, babe, whatever you want. So, but yeah, we're super, we're, we're, we're stoked. She brought by, do you want to be on this? Come on. She Please brought meet by. our adorable of, designer, <laughs> this cute Love blonde that we love. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get me away. <laughs> so she brought this by today, but awesome, also, awesome, uh, I can't talk. Pretty awesome, um, what do you call them? The concepts on your papers? Concepts. I don't know, yeah. we're super excited about it. This place uh, might actually get put together one day. Whose room is this in here that needs to get you done? You know what? Um, we're gonna get actually, get, yeah, I need a book case, and it will it will be complete. It will. Now what do you want? Everyone's making me mad today. What are you doing by the door? It's 110 outside. Like in the middle of the house, just a custom dog pen. Do you know what? Do you know why I'm getting Henri? Henri? Do you say Henri or Henri? Henri. 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 Because <laughs> new houses are expensive. We got awning. We got the pool being finished decorating, landscaping, all of a sudden you buy the house and then you're like, oh yeah, we gotta do all this other stuff, so. It's a lot. It's a Daddy lot. Warbucks. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here are some of the awesome stuff that she has brought over and what we're gonna go with. Lots of decisions to be made and we all know I suck at decisions, but I'm making them because that's what grown-ups do. That's what adulting is all about. At the gym now, fitness culture. It's a Friday. It's good, good vibes in fitness culture on a Friday. You just know you put if you put in a hard, a hard week of work with the with the fellas today. We've got the NFL guy still in here. It's a speed leg day. It's our second leg day of the week. Um, again, I'm working around a back injury, but training legs on a Friday is great because it's usually a reefy day for me and that means I can go out and enjoy some food tonight um, because we train legs big big muscles prime movers that we're burning a lot of calories by training so sit back watch the b-roll let's get after it